welcome to my channel my name is Mercy in case this is your first time and thank you for clicking into this video Kumusta kayong lahat? today I'm showing you my plant collection last time I was showing the alocasia collection but this time it's about peperomia so meron akong 21 varieties of peperomia I'm showing you my six capirata or rippled peperomias so let's start with the first one my favorite color so this is ruby rippled peperomia or ruby capirata as the name suggests the color is ruby or red color in the new young leaves chaka young stems they are red Pakita ko sa inyo later when I have all six here, the close-up look. So, the second caparata is this emerald green. So, ito naman, green siya. And for the third one is the silver caparata or silver refold. So, silvery yung color niya. And currently, my Runshan flowers. The fourth ripple peperomia is this pink lady peperomia. So it's called pink because dapat meron siyang pink na color na leaves. But in this case, green lang yung color ng mga malalaki. Pero naman, in fairness, yung bagong tubo lang, they are pink. Which that's why it's called Pink Lady. When I got this online, when it came to me, there were nine leaves na natatanggal, which I thought it won't survive, but I transferred it into Leka. Kaya nasa Leka na siya, guys, yung or, or clay balls. I'll show you later in close-up. So that's the fourth ripple. The fifth ripple peperomia is this is the moonlight capirata See, it looks like a moon shining <laughs> i keep saying ripple it's actually a ripple um look at this so huge so that's the fifth ripple the last ripple one is this Brasilia. So this is Brasilia. Unlike the other ripple peperomia, this is like elongated. It has that ripple corrugated leaves and juicy. Just like this. And the stems are juicy as well. So that's the last one. So that's the six ripple peperomia. So the color of the leaves, especially in the back side, is red reddish and the stems too so guys here are the close-up look of my peperomia ripple or caparata by the way peperomia plants are also called radiator plants which means that they thrive in warm environment and bright light so they like at least medium to bright light to maintain their vibrant foliage color. So they come in different colors like red, silver, green, pink. So as for my collection, and dito na si Ruby Caperata. To look at the stunning deep red color in the leaves and also in the stems this one had flowers earlier but uh, wala, natanggal na siya. and this one here is the silver capirata so the young leaves are more silvery and when it grows older kagaya nito Um, maging ano na siya, light green. Pero matatanggal din yan kasi it will grow old like that. So this, 
these are the flowers that look like stalks ito naman is the emerald green emerald ripple it had um bigger leaves earlier but uh they fell off so if you can see the difference with the silver ripple in the green the silver ripple can become green as i said in when they are older leaves and this one here is the moonlight okay green din yun siya but it's more um silvery and the older leaves are even more bright yellow and green oh yeah these are the three that resemble close to each other and here is the pink lady so it's called pink lady because of the pink variegation so i'll show you the leka one in this brasilia so this is unlike other capiratas that have heart shape ito naman it's more elongated but it's still like ripple and crinkly and juicy right but the un underside is red brighter red than the front by the way i have a propagation on that one here although the color is dark brown but that's the propagation i'll tell you later how to propagate so this brasilia is in leca i have to change the water because uh, previously because it was rotting the stems were rotting and the only way for it to survive is to put it in a different medium so nilagay ko siya sa leka and then it's a lot cleaner now okay my seventh peperomia is semi ripple but it has its own characteristic it is called napolinites Tingnan nyo naman yung leaves. Ito ang pinakakit na peperomia leaves. Diba? It's elongated as well. And it has flowers to going upwards. The color is silvery. So the eighth peperomia is, this is piccolo banda. This one is also really looking pretty. So here is the close-up look of almost identical, but not really because there are different peperomias this one here is more juicy and fleshy leaves ito naman dry siya but this is considered as the dark member of the peperomia family but the leaves are really stunning it's so cute Talagang mapapaaka if it's your first time to, to see this plant. These two I put in leka. And now you look healthy. Hopefully they will continue like that. Healthy and clean. Tingnan. My number nine peperomia guys is this succulent kind of peperomia so this one i take care of this like a cacti or cactus the upper part of the leaves is color green and the underside is maroon the other one that is like a, i treat it as a succulent is this hope peperomia hope ito yung pinaka favorito ko and I was really looking for this for quite a long time. Gusto ko naman yung hindi masyado mahal. So I got this for 36 which is a good deal. It is like a silver dollar. 
plant which I have here at the top. This one. This is fast growing plant for me, which I like. So I put this outside because I hang it. And very easy plant. So these two are the have the succulent type of peperomia, which really require less watering. So this is the close-up look of graviolins. It looks very delicate, but it's not really. It's very hardy. I even treat it as like a succulent, which I mean, literally looks like a succulent, but you know, the succulent family. That's why I put it in a succulent potting mix too. So this is the close-up look of Hope Peperomia. I really love this plant and I was looking for the longest time. But they always like more than $50 at one time or two until I saw it recently two months ago and they sold it for $36. So I grabbed it. Gustong gusto ko siya kasi sa round shape niya. Especially this one. Look at, sorry. Especially this one. I'm gonna get the dollar, silver dollar coin so you can uh, differentiate it. So this is the silver dollar coin. So di ba magkamukha siya? But this one belongs to succulent type. Although this one the hope has a bit of a pattern, which is the typical characteristic of a peperomia. But the dollar coin doesn't have any pattern at all. I love them both. So my 11 peperomia is this one, which is the easiest kind. This is called Pocholata or Parallel Peperomia. I'll show you the close-up look on this one as well. And it's little sister. This is called Peperomia Diamond. But this one is like thinner and smaller, of course. I just got this one today. I was happy with 20 peperomia when we went to Bunnings today, as in Jace just snagged it. And we got this for $6.99. The $7 is good. Good deal. The close-up look of parallel peperomia or pocholata. So this is even more dry to compare to the Napoli Nights. How long is this stock? Wow. Love this one. And here, who is here? This is the diamond or Angulata Peperomia. So this is the one that we just bought today. If you look closely, Magkapareho siya, no, yung leaves. Although this one has, like, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Six parang six grids. Dito naman, apat lang, oh. One, two, three, four. Siya, di ba? One, two, three, four. And this is thinner. And parang my juice inside so that's the difference although this one is perfect for hanging baskets kasi siya yung magdodrop this one naman pataas siya okay i hope i make sense My number 13 peperomia is this favorito ng marami so this is also like a succulent. This is the string of turtles or peperomia prostata. So if you take a close look 
on the leaves they really look like turtles it looks like the turtle shell and this is ideal for hanging basket this one looks brown because i sprayed over and over uh, uh, pesticide spray because this was attacked by aphids i can spot them very quickly because they attack the young young leaves but they are pests hopefully they will be gone for good and this one hates its feet to be wet just like the other peperomias they prefer the soil to be almost dry in between watering but they don't want to be left dry out they still want a bit of moist but for this one you have to be careful because its tiny feet are very delicate that means it cannot tolerate you know soggy or wet soil i wish i can transform this to leka but i don't think that's possible this is very hard to repot guys if you can only avoid repotting this all the time maybe once a year when when you really have to i only repot this once and so far it's enough for it this one here guys is the peperomia maculosa this is a bit rare and you cannot see it anywhere easily i bought this from the jungle collective online and they mentioned that meron shang damage so meron nga i got this for 40 dollars but anyway the new leaf is perfect this is hard and thick leaves and the biggest leaf uh peperomia can have so ito yung pinakapaborito ko sa lahat and you cannot blame me just don't tell the others so it's the maculosa or cilantro or vanilla peperomia so as i mentioned i got it with the leaves damaged already so i think nyo naman yung newest leaf oh perfect at meron pang kasunod mga tatlo pa ha so it's very popular and sought after because of this you know white veining and the glossy big leaves and this one is peperomia ferrere or happy bean the shape is like a pea pod going downwards jace bought this with his own money and this is his and this was his first plant he got this for five dollars it was very tiny last year i have to put a trellis otherwise in the shah amongst the stand up so here is the ferrere of jays or the happy bean weird looking actually it doesn't look like a typical peperomia okay i have to give this a 360 turn this is a very slow water drinker guys when it was small a bit smaller than this now i had to put um this white pebbles i noticed the fungus nuts always stay on the soil the plant doesn't absorb the water straight away or quickly because it's a semi succulent next one is this red watermelon it looks like watermelon peperomia but it has the reddish stem and it grows like crazy as well it's very bushy so this is a close-up look of peperomia turboensis or red watermelon this is a heart shape leaves 
and silvery gray foliage with wide sparkly black stripes reminiscent of a watermelon this is the bushy kind of peperomia it doesn't grow upwards it grows sidewards so it's called red watermelon because of the red underside guys a chaka red stems nya it is looking close enough to the watermelon peperomia like this one here enter watermelon here see parang ang kamukha siya ano pero yun nga mas dark yung foliage nito yung stripes or the veining is dark than that one so that's the difference okay but i'll talk more of the watermelon later this this one is peperomia metallica it has that brownish color ang ganda nito before it got hit by sunburn because i put it next to the window sill and this is facing west so one time i just noticed na ano nag naging crispy na yung tips niya and the baby leaves on the top were like falling off so i had to rescue it so here's the close-up look of metallica so the chocolate brown glossy leaves which have a silver stripe along the midline is really underrated but very stunning plant kaya lang yung sa akin lang guys naging crispy yung leaves niya kasi nga na burn sunburn siya but it really looks like a small tree right i hope this will recover because it's very nice now one of my biggest peperomia is this the Peromia of Josepolia variegata. This has the hardest leaves. This is the variegated version with the yellow variegation and the top leaves. So this is my pride and joy. My baby rubber plant or the Peromia of Josepolia variegata. It's really nice. This is very hard to And what can you say about this plant? For me, it is a fast grower. And I put it in the top shelf. Another bigger peperomia is this one. Can you guess the name by judging the shape of the leaves this is the peperomia raindrop or polybotria okay if you can see it looks like really raindrops i have this in my instagram in the reels where i put a music in it like the raindrops keep falling on my head it looks so cute please head to my instagram after this video it's busy and fab. You can see it dancing in the rain. I can split it into two or three plants. And here is another pride and joy of mine. So this is the Peperomia raindrop or Polybotria. Very, very stunning. I'm so proud that um, look at that it's a full plant because when I got this it was really small but I watered this once a week on a winter day but twice or every four days on summer one year old with my care next one here is this this is Meridana. 
as you can see it is so bushy bushy and busy growing but the planter is too small for it pug planter is very tiny for it it's, i can spread it into two plants and i also have here the propagation of it and here is another pride and joy of mine and this very healthy looking glossy leaves see it's very full and some of them are actually variegated and last but not the least is this the Peromia watermelon or Argeria the Peromia nobody a plant collection is not complete without this I get the bigger plant so this is the mother plant I propagated the oldest leaf when it fell I say I think I overwatered it one time and luckily the it survived so here are my propagations although these ones here are already rooted and it's like a full grown meridana and I'm actually selling this see it is variegated and this is the other meridana from the half leaf cutting pati itong peperomia ko propagated lang to from a half leaf cutting I'll show you the pick and this is the brasilia from a half leaf cutting which I did something like this. See, can you see that? This is how I propagate. I slice it into two and put it in the soil. Well, I think I need a bigger pot for that. So it will have a space to grow. So this is my propagation in water. This is the Napolinite. Look, it has a, a root coming out. Yeah, and this one is a ZZ plant. And this is the first time I'm successful with the uh, water propagation. So that's how I propagate Peperomia, guys. Hopefully, this one will come out into a plant like this. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you that you have made this far in this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And I hope that you will come back for more, for more planty content. Thank you. Bye.